Hey, Angie Wagler for Arise Now on the Two Minute Wake Up Call. Well, I'm here, I'm working on a project that's kind of time sensitive for Christmas. And wouldn't you know it, I'm in the middle, um, running a good race, trying to get it all done. And um, my trusted sewing machine didn't want to cooperate with me any further. It actually seized up and I'm like, oh dear, this is just throwing me for a loop. And I, I pulled it apart and I was looking for oil. So I thought, I think this thing needs to be oil. I couldn't find any oil. Um, in in the, in my um, little compartment here, I pulled out my old sewing machine. I couldn't find any oil there either. And I'm like, hmm, has this machine never been oiled? <laughs> Maybe not. But I did find some oil, and I have generously oiled this machine. I couldn't actually find the manual, so I'm hoping I oiled it in the right places and that I haven't overdone it too much. I see that there's some oil dropping, so I'm going to have to try to clean that up before I start sewing again. Well, it got me thinking. It got me thinking about oil. You know, oil in the Bible, it makes me think of the Holy Spirit. You know, there were times oil was used for a lot of things. Um, there was times that people were anointed with oil for leadership, um, anointed with oil for healing. There was oil in some sacrifices. Um, there was oil in the lampstand in the in the to, to light the lights in the um, in the temple. You know, oil was significant in the Bible. And, and you know what, sometimes I think we're maybe a little bit like my sewing machine, we're running a good race, we're working really hard, we're doing some good things. And all of a sudden, we seize up, we freeze up. And it's like, Oh, my goodness, um, I can't do anything now. You know what, sometimes I think we need to be oiled, we need a little bit more of the Holy Spirit operating in our lives, um, maybe a lot of the Holy Spirit operating in our lives. You know, I want to leave, leave you with a verse here from Isaiah. 61. You know, this is the chapter that Jesus read um, when he was stating his mandate in the in the um, synagogue in Nazareth. And, um, you know, it starts off with the spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me. Well, I'm jumping to verse three, um, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. You know what? Maybe you need uh, some oil of gladness in your life. Maybe you need a little bit more joy. You know, I invite you to ask the Holy Spirit to come fill you up with more of him. We need him. <laughs> we need him operating in our lives uh, to, to um, for everything to run smoothly and in order. Well, something for you to think on. And until we meet again, stay awake and stay alert.